Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wasabi Galaxy, a show where we chat about Japan games, Japan culture, and anything Japan. In this episode, we will be chatting about this little booklet here called Last Exile Animation Booklet. And if you don't know what Last Exile is, it's an awesome anime based in the future with a lot of steampunk uh, look to it. So you have things like airships, a lot of exposed metal, a lot of steam. So it's a really cool, a unique looking anime. Uh, and if you don't know what an animation booklet is, an animation booklet is a book that's within uh, an animation company. So animators usually get this thing and it makes sure that uh, animators are consistent with each other. So if they're drawing a certain character, they know all the little nuances to make sure that varying from person to person, it's going to look 100% the same, so you have a nice consistent look to the animation. So now let's take a look inside this bad boy. Alright, now let's take a look at the Last Exile book here. And uh, basically, like I said, it, it's pretty thin, but you know it has a lot of nuggets in here. So let me just open it up here. And right, on the, right off the bat, the first page is every single character that's within the anime and you can see the actual size of each of the characters so this is a guidance for the the artists who are drawing uh, you know the animation cells to know the you know how tall these characters are in relationship to each other and actually draw you know the right proportions for each of the character and great things like this where they show you know every single character within the anime you know side profile quarter view and then a lot of the emotions uh, that uh, the character can have and they do this to, to make sure that you know certain looks are for certain characters so you don't see the same looks on every single character so just creating that, that depth in the character that you know you want to see uh, progress throughout the anime here you can see uh, the different gadgets that they put on her like here's this is the headgear and this it's basically explaining like how it fits on her face, a side view, quarter view, how it, the goggles can go on top of her head. This is how it looks like when it's off. Her and her, you know, her underwear here. Then the child. If you keep going, you see every single character that's within it. As you can see, there's different emotions for each of the characters, which is you know really awesome. And if you're an artist or an animator or concept artist, this book is really good for a lot of reference work. And you know, the style of the anime is very steampunk, so you know, if you're doing working on some steampunk stuff, or if you you know just love steampunk, there's a lot of great ideas in this uh, this book. And anime, you guys should totally watch the anime. So here's more of the characters. I want to jump maybe a little bit more towards the end where it's less about the characters and more about like the settings Some more character profiles uh, like little nuggets like this like how the shoe on the bottom looks like you know th these are things you really don't see very much in art books where they're actually breaking down each of the little sections uh, of the character so you know animators know what they're drawing and not just making things up like that it keeps consistency throughout the anime so everything looks like a cohesive thing. Uh, there's another profile here. Look pretty cool. So like uh, all of the four pilots of the show and you can see the relationship of how tall each one is compared to each other. And even like stance is very different compared to all of each other. So you know that you know this character is different than this character just by the way they're standing. Jump over. So here is one you, you they show a little bit more of like the the vehicles that are within the the anime. Here it's these are three D uh, images, but they use this for the animators to know like how the characters sit within these uh, different ships. And here's like the different um, guns and how and which character uh, they use use it great little details of like here's there, there's actual letters on here um and they even do like a close-up to see you know how these actually oops show you guys here how these actually look like up close 
so animators know when they're, you know, it's not even just traditional animators. It's also the 3D animators who are also working on this stuff. So they have reference. A lot of things like here's the cockpit. It's like how how it actually looks inside. So when they're actually you know animating it, they know that this does this, this does that. So they have a guide for themselves. Keep going here and have like different symbols within uh uh, the, the anime, here's like a scroll and this is what the scroll looks like when it's unraveled. Here it looks like when it's rolled up. Things like the watch, how actually the watch looks like. You know, little details like this you would think, you know, no one would care about, but it's super important to make sure. Uh, even things like how this um, pin actually works to, to hold the strap for the watch. So it's just full of incredible details like here with the watch you can actually see all the numbers and this is all hand drawn which is incredible and here's some more 3d stuff oh this one's pretty cool here Let me go move back here here's like the the journal of one of the characters and it actually shows like how it looks like inside the outside how the the laces work how it closes uh, the bottom side, the top side, and little details like the, you know, this little thing that holds the the straps together. And here's some more like sketches of like how the syringe works when uh, they put things in it. Even you know foods, how what type of foods that they they use in the anime. So again, so everything's consistent. So here's some of the concept art for the different uh, locations and then it goes into like uh, the actual locations within uh, the anime. And so characters know that this is so and so's quarters and he usually walks this way or even uh, to plan shots here which it looks like you know he walks in from here to there and then comes back to out. So I think it's a pretty great little book if you're you know very much into art or looking for a lot of great reference work. I think this book is one of my favorites that I have and I think it was well worth the 30 bucks I paid for it when I was in Tokyo. So that was a look at Last Exile animation booklet. Uh, I really love this book just because it has a lot of awesome uh, reference work. Uh, if you're into comics, uh, you're, you're into concept art, or just, you know, like drawing, this is an awesome book to have because it is full of awesome reference work. So it's a definite pickup if you see it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know down below what you think of the book. Uh, have you seen the anime? Do you like the anime? And also let me know what other things you want me to cover. I like that. It gives me a general idea of like what the things you want to see. Uh, so also please hit that like button. It helps me gauge if this content is good or not And most importantly, please hit that subscribe button It helps me motivate myself to create more and high quality content for you guys So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time